Here at Duramax Tuner Calibrated Power, we get a lot of guys calling in asking us questions about turbocharger replacements. And uh, if you've done any reading, you've probably seen that there's single turbochargers on the market and there's twin kits. And it's pretty common for guys to have interest in both and kind of want to know what's the best fit for their truck. I think the best thing we can do is take a look at these two turbocharger options and by two, I'm very much oversimplifying twins versus singles. But take a look at twins versus singles from an aspect of price, from an aspect of performance, so the horsepower number, and from an aspect of reliability, or long-term long -term use, long-term reliability, and uh, I would say towing as well fits in here. So if it performs, long, if it performs well long-term, it's probably gonna perform well towing. So a single turbocharger. Easily the low-cost leader. Uh, dollar for dollar, there's just less parts, so they cost less. Uh, Typically, a single turbocharger can get you to the same number that a twin or a compound turbocharger setup can get you to with the same fuel system. So if you're looking for 650 horsepower, you can get there with a single turbocharger. You can also get there with a twin set, okay? So you're gonna have a lot less money into it with a single. You're going to have a lot less parts into it with a single, so the truck's gonna be lighter. But what you're gonna lose is the total overall airflow. So the ability to control EGTs under sustained heavy load isn't gonna be there with a single where it would be there with a compound set. But you're gonna pay for that. You're gonna pay for that in money, you're gonna pay for that in weight, and uh, you know, you're know you gonna have a lot more stuff under the hood. So what I would say is if you're looking for that 640, 650 number, put whatever number you want in there, right? If you're looking for the number and you're looking to use it for towing, then a twin set really shines because it simply moves more airflow and the engine is happier under sustained heavy load. If you don't regularly use the truck to tow a gross vehicle weight, I would say you'd probably be fine with a single turbocharger. A single turbocharger can easily control exhaust gas temperatures at stock power levels and usually 50 to 100 horsepower higher than that. It takes a lot of weight behind the truck before you need to sustainably run 400 plus horsepower. Uh, we're talking going up a grade with a gooseneck behind the truck. You know, if that's what you use the truck for and you need that power, then the twin set is what you want to look at. But if you're just looking for 650 horsepower and you want to slam the throttle, get there 15 seconds, be done with it, and get the best dollar for, you know, the best horsepower value, then a single turbocharger is going to be a much less expensive option to reach the number, to do it reliably, but not to do it for a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes at a click. So when I say five minutes at a click, what do I mean? I mean, if you're running a truck with a gooseneck trailer behind it at gross vehicle, at uh, manufacturer's gross vehicle weight rating or higher, you're gonna need airflow through the system, especially if you're running a tuned truck, especially if you're running high horsepower. And I'm, when I say high horsepower, I mean 400 horsepower plus sustained. Uh, there's simply no other way to cool the truck off than to move air through the motor. And the best way to do that is to move it through the turbocharging system. Those turbochargers, when you run compounds, are gonna be in their efficiency range at that high horsepower level. So they're not gonna be converting that exhaust energy into heat and air, they're gonna be converting it into airflow. And what that's gonna do is lower your inlet air temperatures, which is gonna lower the load on the intercooler, which is gonna lower the load on the pistons, less EGTs, the whole system sees less heat. It's not that twins are better engineered or that the parts are somehow better and they tolerate reliability better, it's that a single turbocharger running at one horsepower level versus a twin set running at the same horsepower level, the twin set is just gonna run lower exhaust gas temperatures and therefore the setup is more reliable. The way I've phrased this discussion so far makes it sound like one or the other. And the reality is you can certainly size your first turbocharger purchase to complement your phase two or your second turbocharger purchase. So the first turbocharger you buy can get you to that level, 640, 650 horsepower let's say, and then if you want to take it to the next level, you want to build the engine, you want to go to 800 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower, you know, whatever your target may be, you can size your compound set to get to that number. Shameless plug for the Stealth turbochargers, they work really well in that situation. Um, hit the 650 number later on, buy a compound set, put an S480 or S488 over the top of it, you can easily make 1,000 horsepower, we've proved that. Okay, so as you're buying that first turbocharger, Good thing to consider, is this gonna be a turbocharger that's gonna work well in a compound setup? What's my five-year plan with the truck? Am I gonna do that down the road? Okay, maybe I'll spend a little extra. Maybe I'll buy this model over this model. Maybe I'll go a little smaller because I'm planning on going bigger on the twin kit. Um, you know, there's a lot of things to consider and that's where talking to someone who's done it before can really play to your advantage. 
I'm Nick with Duramax Tuner.com. Give us a call if we can help, 815-568-7920.